Hey everyone, happy holidays. Bigfoot here, and today's video I'm going to talk about the ever so popular debate between hiking boots versus trail runners. Now, for those of you that follow me along my 2016 through hike, know that I chose trail runners. But I really want to leave you with the reasons why you may go with one versus the other. I'll share my own experience. Also, I'll share what I saw a lot on the trail. And, you know, I just want you to be able to make the best decision for you, for your, what makes the most sense for your body and your situation. And I, and I hope that uh, this video can help you with that. So that's a little bit about what my goal is here today. Uh, now, before we get really into anything, let's talk about what are some factors that you are looking for when you are determining what kind of footwear you want to go with. So first and foremost, when I'm looking at footwear is what is my history of injury with my ankles? Do I have strong ankles? Do I have weak ankles? Do I have a long history of ankle sprains, ankle strains, things of that nature? Uh, if I do, I'm probably going to need a lot more support around my ankles. In addition to that, what is the weight of my pack? Remember to include your food, your water, what's your total weight your pack going to be. The heavier the pack, the more support that you need to have on your ankles. So that's going to make be a big factor in whether you are choosing the boot versus the trail runner. Another factor that you need to consider is the environment of the terrain that you're going to experience on whatever trail that you're through hiking, section hiking, weekend hiking. And that is going to make it play a big difference. Footwear needs to protect you from the elements, it needs to protect you from the terrain, and the terrain is just going to look different in all different uh, uh, hikes that you're going to be able to do. So. Uh, that is something that you want to be able to determine and you know based on those two things is what's practical What's really necessary? I will tell you in the hiking world. There are so many things out there that are really more uh, Luxury, you know the bells and the whistles than what you really need to have and if you are leaning towards ultralight backpacking You know you really want to look at you know what is really practical what's really necessity what's not a necessity and uh, and especially if, if you are sporting an ultralight weight, uh, you don't need to have a lot of that ankle support. But anyway, let's, uh, let's get into it. And what I'm going to do is I'm really going to talk about what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages with, uh, with each type of footwear. All right, so hiking boots. First and foremost, these are the Lola Renegades. I purchased these prior to, probably a year prior to my AT through hike. And no rhyme or reason why I went with these outside of just some great reviews, the price, and the comfortability. But let's talk about more on the hiking boots advantages versus the trail runner. So first of all, you're gonna have a lot more ankle support. When you look at support versus a trail runner, you obviously have a lot more higher support to really cover your entire ankle. This is great for folks that do have the injury, uh, injury prone ankles and, and history of that. In addition, if you are sporting a weight uh, probably 40 pounds plus. This is probably something that you're probably leaning towards because you need to have that extra support for all that weight that's on your back. That's really putting a lot of pressure on your ankle. So uh, first, your support on your ankle. Second is just how thick the soles are. A lot of hiking boots have uh, a really thick sole. Plus, some even have a steel plate that goes through there to give you extra protection against uh, feeling all the rocks and twigs and roots and all those things. Uh, this pair I never had any problems with. It has a nice thick sole. Uh, it does not have a uh, steel plate that goes through it, but I never had any problems with uh, feeling anything when I was walking on the uh, the terrain of which I hiked. I believe I uh, hiked in these in Yosemite and uh, in Glacier, but but again, no problems there. But uh, your hiking boots are going to have a lot thicker sole that are going to prevent that uh, that terrain from really feeling everything on your feet. And the last is just a durability. Hiking boots are a lot more durable. They're going to last longer than your, your trail runners. And for the price, you're probably going to be able to uh, get a little bit more value out of your, your, your hiking boots uh, from a standpoint of dollars and how many miles that you're going to be able to hike out of these compared to uh, most trail runners. So those are really the advantages of a hiking boot. All right, disadvantages. Of hiking boots, the first that comes to mind is weight itself. You may have heard before that one pound of weight equates to five pounds of weight in your pack. I don't know if that's true or not. I've heard it a lot and I've read it a lot, 
So there's probably some truth behind that. But the fact of the matter is weight on your feet wears you out. And you just can't afford extra weight on your feet when you're expecting to walk 2,200 miles or whatever your amount of miles are going to be on the trail that you're, that you're hiking. So let's look at how much my particular Renegades weigh. So the weight of these Renegades comes in at 1 pound 8 ounces per shoe, which ends up being 3 pounds total weight. All right, so the next disadvantage is the boots, most of them, require you to break the boot in. You need to do this because it's going to make your comfort level a lot higher on your boot, and it's going to prevent a lot of the blistering. I met a few hikers that actually had to get off the trail for almost a week because they had so many blisters on their feet and they just couldn't handle wearing the boots anymore because of all the blistering. And uh, and, the, and I know there's uh, two or three people that told me that they didn't really break in their boots. They just bought them and uh, some of their first miles walking them were the uh, approach trail hiking up to Spring Mountain. So this is really important that you break your boots in. Not every boot requires it, but most do, especially the heavy duty ones. Uh, the next thing, which is probably one of the biggest disadvantages that uh, uh, really made boots not a good choice for me is ventilation. I, I enjoyed ventilation with my trail runners so much. My feet sweat, everyone's feet sweat, and when you're walking 10, 15, 20 miles a day, you need to have that ventilation to really air out your feet. And the boots, you're just not going to see that. And uh, these ones in particular, they do a great job with keeping moisture outside of the boot from getting in, but from the moisture you get from your feet. It just doesn't do a great job with being able to air that out. And then the last thing is, when your boots do get wet, which they will, they take forever to dry out. I experienced this quite a few times during the course of all of my weekend and week-long hikes when I wore boots. And I remember, I remember taking my boots and literally sending them on a stick next to the fire trying to get them to dry out. And, uh, and, it, and it's just a pain in the butt. With trail runners, you're not going to see that, but but boots, that is just a real big pain in the in the rear end. Not to mention, uh, this is when they are wet, they're going to soak up more water, more moisture, which means more weight on your feet. So that's a little bit about the disadvantages of hiking boots. All right, let's talk about trail runners. So these trail runners were the ones I actually used on the Appalachian Trail. These are the New Balance Fresh Foam Heroes. And I love these shoes. I actually did a review on them. You can check it out on my channel. But uh, let's talk about the advantages. First and foremost is weight. They're going to be significantly lighter than your hiking boot. So let's look at what these come in at. All right, look at this. One shoe is coming out of about 12.3 ounces. So total pair is just under 25 total ounces. When we weighed the Renegades, one shoe equated to one pound, eight ounces or 24 ounces. So really, uh, one shoe is the same weight as a pair of trail runners in this case. All right, disadvantages. So first and foremost, you just don't have the ankle support that you see with hiking boots. That's probably the most obvious. The next, you're just not going to get as much miles out of your trail runners as you do with hiking boots. These, I got about an average of 500 miles. The first pair that I went through, I think I changed somewhere around the 530, 540 mile mark. And the ones I got the least was about 450. So call it 500. I thought that was pretty good for these trail runners. Hiking boots, most people got about 1,100-ish miles on their hiking boots. There were some people that I met, one in particular, three jacks that I met up in Rangeley, Maine, that uh, actually used his boots and he didn't change them until sometime around the White Mountains. He was trying to go the entire through hike without changing them. And although he still had the tread and everything, uh, the appearance that they were still good on his boots, but the fibers that uh, make up the sole broke down and didn't provide him the comfort and really the support that he needed. And he had just a ton of problems with his feet. He actually had to uh, take some time off the trail for a little bit, uh, more zeros than he wanted to, just to... Uh, get some of his foot issues resolved, but you can't hike the entire through hike on one pair of boots from what I heard from many hikers. And the last is really just the support that you have on the shoe when you're walking through the terrain. You're gonna feel a lot more of the rocks, a lot more of the gravel and the sticks and the stones, 
in a trail runner than you will with a with a boot. Some uh, particular trail runners actually have rock plates that go through the sole so that you won't feel that as much. I actually finished the entire through hike on a pair of Lone Peak, uh, I think it was 2.5 Ultras, and those actually had a rock plate and I could see a significant difference in what I could feel and what I couldn't feel with going from these to the, the Ultras. But uh, depending on if you have a rock plate or not, will make uh, a big difference with what you, uh, what kind of support that you have on your soles. So that really kind of wraps up the advantages and disadvantages that you have with boots to trail runners. All right, everyone. So before I wrap this up, I just want to share with you my experience on the Appalachian Trail. When I started in Georgia, I would say about half of the hikers wore boots, half wore the trail runners. The further north I got, it seemed that the through hikers started favoring the trail runners. And when I ended the trail, I would say about nine out of 10 hikers were actually wearing the, the trail runners. And, and the reasons are really for the advantages I talked about with the trail runners, especially the weight factor. So I hope this video was helpful for you in making a decision, what the best decision is for you. Again, uh, for me, it might be different compared to uh, every other hiker, but uh, the weight piece was a really important factor that uh, really made my decision pretty easy why I went with trail runners. And uh, I also haven't had a real long history of having any injuries with my ankles, so I didn't really need that ankle support. Uh, if you're still on the fence and you really don't have the, the history of issues with your ankles and you're not uh, sporting a, a really heavy pack weight, I would really encourage you to look into trail runners. You're going to love it. And uh, I will tell you, especially when you are looking to hike, start hiking 15 to 20 miles a day, like most hikers are going to start once they get into uh, the middle of Virginia and get to the mid-Atlantic states. So anyway, I hope this video was valuable for everyone. If it was, please like my video. And I will be back soon with, uh, with some more information about planning your upcoming thru-hike.